In this video, we will show how to install Enter. First, launch the installation file. Choose the language. Then read and accept the license agreement. Choose the location where you want to install Enter. It might be a good idea to apply a version number in case you want to install several versions of Enter. If this is the first time that you install Enter, just leave the default settings. If you have installed Enter before, you can choose to deselect the installation of the Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable. This third-party software is a free player provided by Microsoft. And in addition to it, we also need the Java player and the MATLAB Runtime Engine player to run Enter. All of these are free softwares to install. When it comes to the Microsoft Visual C++ Redistributable, you might already have it installed. Maybe you get an option to repair it. If so, just go ahead and repair it. In other cases, when you hit the install of it, you might actually fail to do the installation. And you get an error message saying setup failed. And you can just ignore this and proceed. Then go ahead and specify a location on the start menu. And you are done installing Enter. And we can try to launch the software. In this particular case, I'm using uh, floating licenses here, so I do not need to worry about adding a license file to the installation folder. We see here that the running of Enter failed. It complains about the Enter API, and this is because we have not installed the MATLAB runtime engine. So we go ahead and we install that. Now, there is a specific version of the MATLAB Rantam engine that you need. And you will find information about this in the installation document where you downloaded Enter. You will also typically find the MATLAB Rantam engine installation file that you can download. If you have uh, installed an earlier version of Enter, which uses the same version of the MATLAB Rantam engine, then you don't have to download the MATLAB Runtime Engine, nor install it, of course. The first part here is that it is unzipping all the installation files. It takes a little bit of time, and then it will proceed with the installation, which also takes a little bit of time. So we will just proceed by jumping over some of this to save some time in this video. And then the installation of the MATLAB Runtime Engine is done. We just click Finish. And we can go back and try to run Enter again. If you are not using floating licenses, you need to remember to copy the license file into the installation folder 
where you launch enter from. The first time that you launch enter, it can take a little bit of time to start up. And again, we will just uh, skip this and uh, move on to the actual launching of the software. And here we are inside Enter. 